bittersweet moment bitter sweet moment i'm so sad to be leaving but we have to move on to bigger and better things Bye, apartment 729. the country by myself by myself girl who does she think she is who does she think she is who does she think she is Period. so I'm gonna give you guys a very quick um, and to the point apartment tour shall we super excited um this place is stunning beautiful stunning the views stunning the service stunning like i said period all yours i'm here by myself so i don't have anybody to hold the camera so it's gonna have to be vlog style but um i don't think you guys will mind i think that you guys get the point i'm here by myself, left my friends and family, moved across the country alone to start over, start a new chapter, and I'm so freaking proud of myself. Okay, we're not even gonna get emotional. Let's get into it. Okay, so starting off, you have a different door here. The ceilings are pretty high. I think these are 10 foot ceilings or yeah, they're 10 foot, I believe. Um, but then they go higher to, is that 13? No, it's not 13. I think that's 11 or 12. Anyway, besides the point, y'all get the, y'all get the gist. So, front door. This, honestly, Spoiler, we're gonna jump right into one of my favorite parts. The fact that I have an entire laundry room, excuse me, pre-made shelving in here, a whole room for the laundry, front load washer and dryer. I am very blessed. If you know, then you know. I used to live not in this most recent apartment that I just left. I was also very blessed in there, but when I was in PA school, I lived in the hood I used to have to go to a laundromat and be very scared <laughs> at weary hours of the night because that's the only time I could wash my clothes because I was in school all day. So very blessed every time I have a wash and dryer units, um, let alone to have an entire laundry room. I'm sorry. I've never had a laundry room in an apartment before, let alone a one bedroom. So this is very exciting. This is just the stuff that I just flew in with in a dolly. But yeah, so I like the fact that I can close off, you know, if I have people over or whatever, I can close that entire room. Like, I'm going to utilize this room so hard. Like, my hauls and, like, like clothing rack and stuff like that is going to be stored in there. Like, I'm excited. So, you make your way from the front door, and this is the first area that you see. It's like a little foyer, foyer, whatever, if you will. Um, I'm obsessed with all the space here. I plan to put like an entryway table, a mirror. Um, oh, why is my camera like struggling to focus? Give me a second. So yeah, that's what I plan to put here. Entryway table, um, mirror on the wall, and you know, some cute decorations, whatever. Here. 
So then you make your way to the right. And as you can see, I mean, let's just get into how gorgeous this kitchen is. Oh my goodness. Very unique light fixtures, um, full size island. And the fact that they put the kit or the sink back there and not in the island, I love it 10 times more. Um, I already have four bar stools from CB2. Um, which I, when my stuff gets here, I will put on this island. But um, yes, baby, we're coming with the gas, gas only. After leaving my most recent apartment, I am like a sucker for a gas stove. Like, I don't think I will ever go back to electric unless it's like my dream condo type of situation. And that's the only one bad thing is that they have electric, I'll settle. But Electric just changes the game. Comment down below if you agree. This is my kitchen. Are we even for real? Like, be fuck for real. Be for real. Look at all the storage. Um, excuse me. And this really sold me. I've never had one of these in an apartment before. Like, please. So stunning. But yeah, so full size fridge. Um, Tons and tons and tons of storage. I really love this open layout here. Um, I can put some decorations, some plants, whatever. And yeah, very beautiful. Also, if you guys haven't noticed, these gold finishes on everything, very unique. I mean, I've literally never toured an apartment with gold finishes before, ever. Like, and I've toured a lot of apartments, especially in the last year or two. So. This is my kitchen. She's so pretty, so beautiful. And we make our way to the left and this is my living room. So um, I have a pretty big um, space here in my personal opinion. Um, yeah, pretty big. I have a sectional couch, which I'm gonna get a new one, but um, for now I'll stick with that and that's gonna go there. Um, I have a coffee table, you know, and this is probably one of my favorite parts. The fact that they have the outlets actually up where the TV goes, so you don't have to worry about those ugly cords. Um, I thought that that was very thoughtful. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is just like a kind of full pan of the kitchen slash living room area. Very nice, very nice. And then, babes, we've never, ever had a patio before or balcony you have got to be kidding me oh my god look at that cloud over there it's like to stop pouring my balcony is a pretty good size i can't wait to decorate out here like ah, i'm so excited and i don't know if you noticed that noise cancellation was like top tier you come out this way and y'all like for one i don't know if y'all are getting the vibe but it's giving master suite like i don't i don't know so we're gonna go straight into my bedroom bedroom is very spacious I just have my little blow-up mattress right there um sort of ceiling windows um outlets on the wall and yeah so i'm gonna stand in the opposite corner so you guys can get a feel for how big the bedroom really is very pleased like extremely pleased I have a ceiling fan, which is definitely helpful in this Texas heat. And my view. <laughs> like, this is unreal. Un freaking real. Um, blow up mattress. That's what Sis is gonna be sleeping on until her bed gets in. So you walk in and here is my closet. Not a double French door closet. Who do I think I am? Huh? babes it's the built-in shelving for me it's the not only one side but two side closet for me yeah i am very pleased i love the lighting i love the space um like i can even slide in like an ikea shelf um like drawer shelving right here or put it right here or even right here like there's even area at the bottom 
I'm just, I'm very overjoyed for this amount of space. If you know, then you know. I have way too much stuff. So that's the closet, folks. And last but not least, let's get into this bathroom. The amount of storage. And the cabinetry, the gold finishes. And as you guys can see, the best part, I have not only a glass stand-in shower, but I also have a tub. This is a game changer for me because typically you have to settle. Do you want the tub or do you want the shower? But I have both. And I am just, I mean, over the moon, like <laughs> ecstatic. Look at how beautiful that rain shower head is. Stunning, stunning. And the size of this tub, it could easily fit two people in here. It's huge. So, yeah. Storage, soft clothes. I hope that you guys like this apartment tour. Um, I don't know what we're gonna get into today, but I really just need to unload my car with the stuff that I packed and find some meat because I'm starving and I don't want to pass out. Okay, this is a good day. We're not trying to end it on a bad note. <laughs> All right, y'all, I will catch y'all later. Like, how cool 
They also got me something else. Let me turn on this light. They also got me. off a purchase for hundred dollars or more which definitely will be put to use so that's nice this is a coupon bring this pizza to whole foods market and we'll trade you for a free full-size two toppy pizza that's pretty good it expires in december so definitely gonna use that oh how nice This is a sturdy one. Wow. With the wooden handle. Super cute. Super cute. Nah, I like this a lot. This is, this is my speed. that I do today is going to be very exciting. Um, I'm trying to like debate, do I want to do these like as like multiple moving vlogs or do I just want to make them vlogs? You know what I mean? Like, yeah, obviously I'm moving in them, but I haven't decided and I haven't decided if I want to do it like part one, part two, part three, part four, whatever, because I feel like moving is so ongoing. It just is, like, I just feel like it just never ends, low-key. <laughs> like, until you, like, I could be decorating for six months because furniture ain't cheap. Buying the, I mean, like, the cute little knickknacks and decorative things, those are cheap. But, like, buying, like, couches, beds, dressers, like, mirrors, like, those things aren't cheap. So, I don't know. But, it's neither here nor there. I'm over here trying to envision how I want to decorate. Because I know for a fact my couch is going to go on that far wall. But I'm like, I always like a mirror in the living room. And I don't want to obscure the wall. Um, or like the, the windows. Because I just feel like that defeats the whole purpose of having like floor to ceiling windows. Like I low key want to put a mirror right here like on that wall, obviously it would be covering the temperature and the switches, which I don't think is that deep. I feel like you can just reach back there and, you know, get to it. And honestly, too, if you're somebody like that, it's less of an eyesore if something's covering all of that. Um, I feel like there's a good amount of space to, let me angle y'all down. I feel like there's a good amount of space too between the corner of the island and where I would put the mirror because I would dead ass put it like like here it's pretty big so 
honestly, like here, because I don't want to ever come out and then like boom, run into it, you know, so. TV's obviously gonna go right there. So that's what I'm envisioning is like the TV's right there with a little sound, like, or a little floating shelf situation underneath where I'll put like, you know, like cute decorations um, and whatnot. Some pompous grass may be there in the corner. And then here will be like a full length mirror. I don't know, I, I feel like I like that vibe, but we'll have to see, we'll have to mess around with it. I feel like I really do wanna put a full length mirror either, I don't know, because like I hate, obviously like I'm dark, darker complected, so like light behind me makes me look like black. <laughs> um, I would rather put the mirror like in this corner. Like I feel like there would be plenty of space. Like put that like that long, super long mirror that I had in my last apartment in that corner and I would still have space for like my dresser and my TV. I feel like that's a vibe. And I feel like that's also why, I don't know if you noticed, they put the outlets so far over this way so that you can have that corner possibly for a mirror or some, some type of situation, a chair or whatever. So I feel like I'm definitely going to put um, a mirror right there with like my little foot. Y'all going to see. Y'all going to see the vision. Um, I think it's going to be super cute in here. I can't wait. Anyway, y'all, I'm just running my mouth at this point. I'm going to go take these dollies back to them and go grab some food and a couple of those. I, I, I'm going to grab those items quickly at Target and then I'm going to go grab food. Um... And yeah, I think I will see y'all tomorrow. I don't know if it's going to be the next vlog, but I'm going to see y'all soon. likely only gonna wear this when I'm inside but um yeah I have this on I'm going to wear my chunky these are like the cutest and cheapest flops ever but they go with so much so no 
these on. And I'm gonna wear my Dior saddle bag. So this is the fit. Y'all see it before, very chill, very casual. She's just like my favorite. You know what I end up wanting to get is the guitar strap, the long one, so I can wear her crossbody. But um, yeah, I just have on this pirate hat. I've been wearing a hat for the last few days because I washed my hair and just let it air dry. So it's not like blown out or anything. And I honestly, it's too hot to be wearing my hair uh, down right now. So this is what I'm going with. Um, I actually was about to pack stuff to go to um, do some work, like editing, some admin work that I have to get done. Um, after, but honestly, I just know myself. I'm about to run so many errands, and by the time I'm done, I'm gonna wanna come back home, lay down and watch some YouTube. And that's what I'm doing today. Forgive me. <laughs> I don't even know who I'm talking to, but I think often we put a lot of pressure on ourselves. As if you're anything like me, you put a lot of pressure on yourself. Oh, you're not doing enough. Oh, you could be doing more, but babe, time for relaxation and to restore yourself. That's what today is. It's already late. It's like 2 in the afternoon. Honestly, I spent my morning laying in bed, um, catching up on some emails with my management, and I um, FaceTimed my parents for like two hours. I was crying this morning. Why? I don't know. <laughs> well, I do know. It just, we were just talking about how I really just turned my life around in the matter of 28 days. Life is crazy. <laughs> that they have me emotional. It was hard hearing some things from their perspective, um, but I needed to hear them. And yeah, th those are my people. Then um, I just kind of started like making a list of things that I want to get. So here's the plan. I'm still new to this area, but there are a bunch of things that I want to get and things are kind of spread out. If you're familiar with Houston at all, then you know, like, it's a big ass city. I have a, <laughs> let me just show y'all. I have a very long list. So I think I'm going to just knock out half of it today and the other half tomorrow morning, but, um, okay. Not me picking my wedgie. But I'm gonna go to Chick-fil-A to eat because I have not eaten anything this morning. As y'all know, I don't have no pots pans to even cook myself some breakfast. Um, time got away from me. After the FaceTime, I laid in bed and started just like zooming out a little bit, whatever. So yeah, now it's lunchtime. So I'm gonna go to Chick-fil-A and I'm gonna go to Sam's Club. Sam's Club is like right by Chick-fil-A. Um, cause I have, oh, that reminds me, let me grab my Sam's card. Then I might come back home if I have the frozen items. And then I'm going to go to Trader Joe's and Target cause they're right next to each other. And then I wanted to also go to, um, like a Kroger, um, whole food situation, but we'll see what all I get at Trader Joe's and whatever I don't get today, I will get tomorrow. I'm like trying to stay away from accumulating too many groceries because I do HelloFresh meal subscription, but I have had that on pause clearly for a little while. So, um, I don't know when I'm going to step that back up. And even when I do, um, I might just do like two meals a week and then like supplement with like eating out plus groceries that I accumulate. I think that's my plan. But anyway, let's get today going. I said today like I'm done but that was a very successful but chaotic Sam's Club trip guys I can't get over the fact that this is my home like just coming in here and just I love it I love it here so, let's start off with the Chobani I got um, these like different flavors for one Chobani is like 
pretty much the only yogurt that I eat. Um, not by choice, it just so happened to be, I tried it out one day and I love it. <laughs> so these uh, little cups each are 11 grams of protein. So fuck with it, fuck with it. So we have peach, strawberry, black cherry, and blueberry. So very happy with this purchase because I'll be buying either the big tubs or like a pack of four at Target when in reality this saves you so much more money. So that I got a big thing of butter. Don't judge me. These looked bomb. So I used to eat the veggie sticks. Um, now they apparently have veggie puffs and it comes in sour cream and onion, white cheddar and barbecue. Like those are all top, top tier flavors. Um, the thing I like about the veggie sticks is it makes me not feel too guilty about snacking. Not that you should ever feel guilty about snacking, but y'all know what I mean. Yeah, like each bag is 60 calories, 70 calories, depending on what flavor. Yeah, just when you have that like, I want a snack, I want a chip type of vibe. Laundry, I got some laundry sheets. I got some, a big thing of honey almond granola. Um, like this big serving size was like, the price of like one, this is 32 ounces. It was like the price of like a 16 ounce at Target. So, snag that up. I got a pack of, or a big thing of five gum. I got these. I was gonna get these at Trader Joe's, but I figured this was a better deal. Um, they're these Jamaican style spicy beef patties or meat pie for Nigerian. So I figured I would try them out. Hopefully they're good. These are Lonnie new energy drinks. Shout out to Lonnie New. Like, I tried them one day on a whim and I've been obsessed ever since. Guys, I really want to work with them. So, put in a good word for me. <laughs> I got this big ass thing, like 52 packets of um, oatmeal. It's the apples, apples and cinnamon, brown sugar, and the cinnamon and spice. Whew, almost done. I got a big thing of plastic knives, spoons, and forks. Because, for obvious reasons. <laughs> I got a big thing. These are like the perfect snack. Um, deluxe mixed nuts with sea salt. It's cashews, almonds, pecans, pistachios, and hazelnuts. I don't think I've ever tried hazelnuts, so that should be interesting. Laundry pods. Toilet paper. And paper towels. And that's the haul. So I'm going to put these things away and uh, we're gonna take a quick little break. Maybe for, I don't know, like 30 minutes. I just wanna sit down and watch a YouTube video. Like I need to catch up on my girls' vids and uh, start planning some more content that needs to be filmed. I wanted to go to Sephora today, but I'm just like, I live, so I really could just go to the Galleria. Like, it's literally five minutes up the street. Or I could go to another standalone Sephora, which is like four minutes up the street. But I'm just kind of like, if I'm going to do that, I'm going to the mall. Like, I'm going to the mall. I just want to browse, you know. I'm not really in the financial standpoint uh, considering what I just dropped on this move. <laughs> to be, like, splurging or going serious shopping. Really, I just want to browse. I want to stop in Zara. Um, maybe grab a couple bits, not anything more than like two, three items. I want to stop in, uh, Sephora, duh, I already said that. And then, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. So let me set y'all up and y'all can just watch me put this stuff away. Not very exciting, but... Something to watch, am I right? Yeah. I was looking for perfection, so I decided to go swing it in my direction. I'll be out of control. Let's take it to perfection, just you and me. Let's see if you can bring, bring, bring the nasty out of.
So what can I say to you? But I'm off there, had to fall back. You got everybody thinking I'm all bad. You know the truth. I was always holding you down. You down. Just keep adding, then we just keep adding fun. We was living fast. Okay, so this is the fit. Very casual. Y'all <clears throat> saw a little mini get ready with me. It's already like two in the afternoon. I ate my leftover pia chains that I got last night. That I didn't even show you last night. <laughs> I ate the rest of that today. Um, I was just lazy and I feel like I deserve to be, okay? But um, yeah, this is the fit, very chill. Um, I have on these easy cloud something. Um, this little crop is from Buff Bunny and I used to work with them. These shorts are from Meshki. I just have a New York hat on and this bag. And yeah, let's go run some errands. Ooh, my groin. Guys, saying show me some, but girl, you ain't the only one that's trying to be the only one. Nope. At least I admit that. If you get that, you with that. What the fuck? Let's get it in. I just pulled up to Trader Joe's. I'm like kind of nervous to like vlog in there. I need to get over this. Like, I, I, I like vlogging. I like it, and I want to really do it and take it seriously. But it's just hard like the real world it's different it's just different like granted now I live in a bigger city emphasis on the bigger um but that don't mean shit okay I, I actually live in a very nice area of Houston and you know people out here they're just they love their life they're very nice quaint quiet people and here I come with my freaking camera equipment and they probably like who is this girl that she is but yeah I, I think I, I don't know whose video I was watching and old girl had tried to record in Trader Joe's and they like embarrassed her so now I'm like nervous and I know granted that's always gonna it's gonna be a different experience for every single person blah 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 but like I don't know anyhow y'all so I forgot I had a tr um a car mount you know what's funny? Somebody the other day was like, where are you from? And I was like, Ohio. And sh uh, the girl was like, I didn't know that you guys were that country. And I was like, I don't think I sound country at all. I didn't take it offensively, honestly. But I don't know. I just thought that it was funny. <laughs> I forget how I had this when I did mount it. Wow. I'm so happy I remembered that I had this, y'all. This is like, I love being able to vlog in the car as I drive. It just helps so much. I want to say I had it right here. The only thing, I'm not going to lie, is it low-key be in the way. So I'm going to try to put it like, I don't think y'all can see that. I'm going to try to put it like right here. Because I feel like. I feel like that's the least in the way. I know go feet take your insult. Cool. Okay. I don't know why this is oh, because I don't have it tight. Right? Nothing to discuss so cause I did win by default. Without any doubt, though. Oh, shit. This is so chaotic. Bear with me, y'all. Bear with me. I think I used to hang it up here. And then I would flip it down. And, like, record upside down. But I don't want to do that, necessarily. But I think I might have to. 
Oh, kind of enough. Did y'all just see how easily that just turned? I'm irritated. <laughs> All right, yeah. I don't want it in the way though. Like, I don't want it all on my face because I feel like it's blocking my vision. I don't know. I think I'm overthinking it. I can always move it if it's really in the way. Oh, Lord. Ooh. Okay, period. Period, period, period. Now let me lift this bad boy up. I wish cameras had a screw on the top and on the bottom. Like, that would be dope. <laughs> yep. And then I would hang it upside down. Ooh. And then I would just, I flip the video in um, post-production when I'm editing <laughs> oh we in this joint we are in this joint period I really don't like how close it is to my face like yeah. we friends but we not that damn close no I'm kidding we are we're sisters actually but Oh, I like this. I like it. I really, I'm scared. Is this blocking my vision, sis? Like, are you good? Can you see? That's that's the priority. Can you see? I can see. I really, I can see. Can I see? I need to. I need to wash my hair tonight and do my hair. Like, enough is <laughs> enough is enough. I'm tired of acting like I'm crazy. Oh right, wait. What did she say? Enough is enough. Enough is enough. I'm tired of hiding that I'm crazy. Child, I'm a living TikTok. I'm a walk of TikTok. Yeah, I'm drinking this a lot of new Cosmic Stardust. It's pretty good. All right, I'm stalling. I want to bring y'all in there so bad, but I just don't like being stared at, man. Like, I really don't. I hate it. I hate it with the passion. You go by for the results of nothing to discuss. You know what I just thought about? I'm kind of slow because this is where the frozen... Girl, we're going to Target first because I don't need to be keeping cold items in my car and then be in Target for an hour or two because y'all know how Target runs go. That was a waste of time. Well, at least I got y'all set up on a car mount, period. All right, this is going to be a true test to see if I like it this close, I could push it over there, but then I feel like I'm really just like, I don't know. I say bye bye for you, my you. All right, let's go to Target, y'all. Let's go to Target, y'all. Gang, gang. People are always staring at me. It's fine. Glasses. Bomb. Amazing.
y'all, they did not lie. <laughs> no, they did not lie when they said that the Texas heat is different. It's hot, boy. Like, it's hot. I just know, like, on these days, I will always be barefaced until the summer's over. Like, barefaced, I'm sorry, I will not even put an ounce of makeup on my face unless I'm getting in and out. Like, meeting somebody for dinner, for drinks, for lunch. Like, that's literally it. I just, it's too hot. It's too hot, babes. I just pulled up to Trader Joe's. I don't know if y'all can see. And um, I have, like, some suggestions that I saw on TikTok of foods to get. I am going to get that body butter that is, like, supposedly a dupe. Not really a dupe, but something similar to the um, Bum Bum Cream. I'm going to get a few of those, and um, we're going to see what else we can get. So I'm not even gonna bother vlogging in here because I just I don't want to get I want to get in and out because I think I want to go to um, I already went to Target I wanted to go to the Container Store they close at six I might be able to make it but if not it's okay like I really don't need to go there right now it's not a pressing matter as of the moment um oh it's so hot just sitting here but um, I think I might go to TJ Maxx or Marshalls. And then go home. So, it's finally back home. I have all the stuff in the car. I figured I would show you guys what all I got from Trader Joe's since I didn't take you in the store. Um, oh, I'm not gonna go through the Target stuff because, in my personal opinion, I just feel like you guys saw all the things I was placing in the cart, and it was all cleaning stuff, some bath stuff, kind of boring. So. So starting off with these jerk style plantain chips. I heard that these are fire. I grew up off plantain chips. If you don't know, I'm Nigerian. This is our Okay, so I'm gonna try. I'm starving by the way. I don't want to ruin my appetite because I want to take myself. I hate when that happens. I want to take myself to dinner, but oh yeah. Oh yeah. These definitely gonna make your breath hot. So I got four of those. I got some kosher dill pickles. I got some eggs. I got some of these uh, chili spiced mangoes. They're like dried mangoes. Fun fact. I grew up thinking I was allergic to mango. I think I was at one point, but I outgrew the allergy. One time, my mom was eating a mango when I was young, and she was like, come eat, like, come share this with me, whatever. I take a bite, and within like, I don't know, 30 minutes, I had hives all over my body. My mom was freaking out. I never forget this. My dad was in Nigeria at the time. Um, and so it was just like her with the kids. Um, she was freaking out. She took me to urgent care. I ended up having to sit in this like oatmeal bath multiple times a day for like a week or something. They went away, but I never ate mango a day in my life again until like two years ago. I was in Orlando with some girlfriends and I wanted this like drink, this like alcoholic beverage, and it had mango in it, like muddled mango. And I was like very nervous, but something was just like, just try it, just try it. Tried it, didn't have a little reaction. So ever since then, I haven't actually eaten the fruit like fresh yet, but I've had like mango salsa and stuff like that. So, fingers crossed. <laughs> I got some kiwi. I got some avocado spray. I like to cook with um, like sprays versus like actual oil. Um, oh, I got some spicy jalapeno chicken sausage, almond butter. 
I got two of these Harvest grilled chicken salads. I feel like these would go perfect for lunch. Mm. I heard these egg bites on TikTok were fire. Twelve grams of protein. I mean. That's not too bad. So I got one of the cheese, spinach, and kale, and one of the cheddar cheese and uncurred bacon. So yeah, got these. Um, I got some aloe vera drink. I heard that this is like super good for your skin. So I'm like all for the skincare. Okay. Now for the frozen items, I got this gnocchi a la Sorrentina. It's gnocchi with tomato sauce and mozzarella cheese. Frozen. I heard these are bomb. Um, these steamed chicken soup dumplings. Got those. I got these Philly cheesesteak bao buns. Or those are also bomb. I got this organic rice cauliflower. Because right now, guys, if I don't know if I made myself clear, I don't have like any of the stuff that I shipped. So I'm just kind of like surviving off of like a pan, a pot, a microwave, a stove. An oven. I got some Toby Jack cheese. I got this uh, light shredded three cheese blend. Put in my eggs. I got this roasted potatoes with peppers and onion. This is also frozen. Like I said, I'm trying to be quick and easy chat. I got these broccoli florets. I got this um, salami and provolone pack. Sheesh, I really got a lot, y'all. Um, I got this Turkey breast, oven roasted turkey breast. I got this oat, oat beverage, oat milk, child. I hope these salmons are fire, the salmon. I got two of them. Oh, okay, last bag. I got some sourdough bread. Um, 100% cranberry juice, not from concentrate, like raw cranberry juice. Very, very good for your urinary tract system. I got two little nectarines. I love nectarines, peaches. I like that family. Super good. I don't know if I told y'all I got kiwi. I think I did. Um, and lastly... I got the organic reduced sugar strawberry preserves. Preserves are so good. Um, and this is like organic, so I was really happy about that. And I got some aioli garlic mustard sauce for like my sandwiches and stuff. And that's the haul. I'm gonna put this stuff away, including the Target stuff, and then I'm going to sit down for like 30 minutes and then I think I'm gonna take myself to dinner. Unless I get lazy and decide to just make something here, but I really don't feel like cooking tonight, so. I just got home. I went and got this place called um, North Italia. Jeez, I don't know why I just blanked out like that. Um, they have them all over. Miami, a bunch of different places, but I just got the bolognese. It up. Yum. And I got some bread on the side with some olive oil. 
I'm about to smash and get my butt in the shower and honestly go to bed. I'm exhausted. I've had the longest last few days. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to close out the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate all the support and the love. You guys are amazing. Um, I love doing this. I don't care how small of a following I have. Like, I just love content creation. And I love sharing my life. So I'm glad to have you here, gang. If you have not already joined the family, what are you doing? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button because I know you made it to the end of the video, girl. Um, and if you would, please give me a big thumbs up. It helps me so much. It helps my channel grow. Um, and yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Until next time.